G'day, namaste. Uh, JT here at Club 16 Downtown. Today I'm going to take you through round five of our yoga poses in my practice. Um, today we're going to do some intermediate poses. Uh, so the nice thing about yoga, I can show you all the different levels. Um, so we can have a beginner level and a more advanced level. Alright, grab your mat. Let's get it on. Okay, so let's start today's practice um, by checking in with the body. So first thing first, let's start with our feet. We're going to activate the four corners, our big toes, little toes, and the inside and outside of our heels. Um, I mention this every time because it's really important because it allows us to ground ourselves for more stability. Uh, from there, slightly bend the knees. We're going to tuck in that tailbone and then really tuck in that navel underneath your rib cage. Loop the shoulders back and then we can bring our palms facing to the front. With our uh, neck, we want to lengthen out through the neck, so from the shoulders there. And our gaze is set just below eye level. Now that we're in the mountain pose, let's take a second to notice our breath. Breathe in through your nose. Expand through your chest, opening your belly, filling your belly. And then exhale through your mouth. Standing our breath, ready for our practice. Now, to begin with, we're going to do a revolved chair today, in today's practice. Um, so, we start from in a chair position, and I'm going to show you how to add that twist into it. So, from here, inhale, let's come into that chair pose. Really spread through the fingertips, open up through the shoulders, nice and broad. We're going to engage through those thigh muscles. We want to kind of squeeze all that together in the center there. Really open through the fingertips, belly's tucked in as we continue to breathe. With an exhale, we're going to bring our palms to our center, to our heart, our palm. From there, inhale, we're going to come with that knee. As we come down, we place that elbow onto our knee as leverage. And then with an exhale, we're going to look as we gaze over our shoulder. Really open up uh, through the trunk there. And we continue to keep those muscles engaged in our thigh. Now take a second just to notice your breath. As you continue to breathe for five breaths. And exhale, we're going to slowly return to that center. Come up, big inhale. And let's swap it over to our opposite side. Exhale, down to the heart. We come into that chair. From here, we're going to place that elbow onto the knee. And then with an exhale, we're going to push as we gaze over at the, at the shoulder there. Feel the twist through your trunk, but you're keeping your hips nice and square. Your thumb is directly um, towards your heart. And if you find this is too much on your neck, you can set your gaze just straight ahead or to your toes. I'm going to look over my shoulder just to push it there for the last couple breaths. You can do this. And release with an exhale. We're going to return to that nice, tall, big inhale. And exhale as we fold into that forward fold. Gently repeat, release, returning our spine. Beautiful. All right, team. So next up, we're going to go into a half moon pose. So this is a more intermediate pose, um, but I'm going to show you different levels, and you can find where your half moon is. So let's take a step. First of all, we're going to start the triangle position. So what we're going to do is uh, just take a step down the middle. We're going to bring our arms out to the side. It's going to allow us to find the width. So just underneath our wrists, we're actually going to place the ankles just sitting underneath there. Let's start with our left leg. So we're going to pull that left leg forward. The back leg's at a 90 degree angle there. So come out to the side. We're going to take an inhale as we breathe in. We're going to come down and exhale. Look up nice and tall towards that thumb as we stack our shoulder, our, our palm on top of our shoulder. We're going to hold it here just for three breaths, get ourselves nice and warm, ready for that half moon. Again, if it's too much in your neck, you can gaze to the floor. Tuck in that belly button, really stretch from the back, the fingertips all the way through the back of the shoulder blades. And exhale, we're going to come up from there. Place that right hand just onto your hip set. And we're going to take a step, really engage those four corners, take a step halfway with that back leg on our tippy toes there. I've got the books here today because uh, you can do it on the floor, but it's going to be much trickier. The books are going to allow us just to have a little bit more uh, advantage there to, to progress the stretch. With the books, I'm going to place them behind the ankle. I'm going to place them about two palm widths away. So let's sort of measure around two palm widths. First of all, we're going to set our gaze, really engage those corners, bend the knee. Take an inhale as we come down. We're going to bend the knee, 
placing the fingers first onto the book so we can continue to gaze at our toe. Open up through the hips as we really just charge that back leg up and flex the foot. Now this might be your half moon, so you can keep it here, you can keep it down lower if you like. Um, just start at your level. From here now, we're gonna take it a little further. Charge up through that back leg, slight bend in that knee. Open up through the chest. So we're going through our checklist. Ooh, lose my balance here, that's okay. And then we're gonna bring that arm up nice and tall. As we stack it on top, we set our gaze to the front there. You can feel that engaging all the way through the muscles your ankle to your fingertips, open up the chest, working those legs. Very tough to do while you're talking. We're gonna do one more breath here, hold it for five. And with grace, we're gonna slowly return, gracefully, that leg down. The inhale, come on, let's stretch it out, big exhale. And release, beautiful. We're gonna come over to that opposite side now, all right. So what we're going to do here, again, set that position, come out with those legs, come to that triangle, this time the right leg, we're going to come to that front there, the 90 uh, degrees to the back there, the back leg. If we inhale, we're going to come down, look towards the gaze to our toes, exhale, stretch up nice and tall, gazing towards our thumb now, both legs are nice and straight in that triangle position. Three breaths in total. And with an exhale, we're going to gently release, come down with that left arm, we're going to place it onto our hips. Let's really activate those four corners, take a half step, um, grab my books real quick. And we're going to come with those books this time, put it over this side, set them two feet, uh, two palms away. All right. And then from here, activate those four corners, we're going to come down, touch down with those fingertips. Now. You can again stay in this position or from here we're going to activate that back leg, really charge up through the leg, flex the foot as we open up through the chest. We can bring our arm up even higher, setting our gaze directly in front of us. Ooh, it's the workout. Trying to focus on your breath. And again, gracefully down. Let's come to that bottom. Ooh, inhale. And exhale. And release. All right. Okay, team, we're going to go into the dance. Um, another balancing pose is going to open up through those quads, open up your chest, um, strengthen through those legs as well, and the lower, uh, open up flexibility in that lower back. Okay, so again, we, we start that mountain pose here. The arms relaxed, belly, spine nice and straight. We're going to bend our left leg come up onto the tippy toes. With the right there, we're gonna really ground it to the floor so it's nice and strong. We're gonna come with our left hand with our thumb up, and we're gonna come with, on the inside, so you're getting that internal stretching all the way through, and you're gonna grab onto the big toe. So with that thumb facing the big toe, we're coming with that hand and we're wrapping the fingertips around the toes. Now, the knee is slightly bent here. We're gonna come up with the palm, and we're gonna gaze to the middle finger. Um, so, this may be your starting position, you can keep it just here, that's fine. But now to advance this, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly come into it, engaging those five muscles as we breathe, we activate those four corners. Gazing towards the thumb, we come nice and tall, last breath, and slowly return back down to the floor. And we're going to swap it out to the other side. So again, let's ground that left leg, so the opposite leg there, bend uh, the right leg, knee there, and just distribute the weight onto that left. From here, we're going to keep our thumbs up, and then we're going to take that thumb on the inside of the foot, and we're placing it around the big toe, and just wrapping those fingertips from there, so we really open up through that chest. Again, we're going to set that hand forward. This may be your level today, um, so feel free to hold it there. Um, if you want to step further, we can bend that knee, and as we come into it, we're going to really engage through the back uh, legs, activate those four corners, and then try to straighten that back, our front leg supporting you as we curl up nice and tall, setting that gaze to your middle finger, and exhale slowly back down. Okay team, let's take it down to the floor, these next uh, last three poses. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a reverse tabletop. Um, first of all, just to warm the body so we can lead into that next pose, it's going to be that uh, upwards plank. Okay. 
So from here, let's sit in a nice upright position, your legs out straight in front of you, the spine is nice and straight. We're going to place those palms just by our side for now. To come into that, um, to the tip top, bring your feet up, you bend your knees, sorry, and bring your feet uh, shoulder width apart from there. We're going to set and find the position by coming down onto our elbows. And where our elbows sit, we're going to place our palms. Place the palms there, spread out through the fingertips, really engage through uh, those four corners of our feet. Now, we're going to first take an inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to really lift up, engage through your navel, sucking in that belly button, and activating through our thighs um, and our glutes. Okay, so with an exhale, lifting up nice and tall, we can set our gaze up straight ahead, or we can look towards our belly. See how your neck is. We're going to hold it here for five breaths, keeping those fingertips nice and pressed against the floor with your toes as well. And with an exhale, we come with our chin to our chest and we slowly lower down to the floor. From here, let's give it a little stretch out across the legs there. Placing our palms to the front, inhale. And exhale, big stretch. And slowly walk it up. Now we're gonna lead into that next pose, the upwards plank, a little bit more tougher. So with this one here, um, we're gonna have a straight legs as we lift our chest up nice and tall. It's the opposite um, to a chaturanga, so it's gonna stretch out those opposing muscles that we use to stretch it out. So again, from here, the legs are together. We're gonna come with those elbows down, find that point where we're gonna place our palms, where the elbows sat. Come up from there, nice and straight. Again, with an exhale, we're gonna engage all those muscles, our thighs, our, uh, uh, sorry, our glutes and our navel as we engage through that belly button. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, push up nice and strong. And then we're gonna plant our feet to the floor as we set our gaze to the sky. Now we're gonna focus on our breath. And with an exhale, we're gonna come with that chin down and slowly lower to the floor. Again, cross the legs. Okay team, we're going to come on to our final pose for today and then finish up with some meditation. The last pose is called the cow face. Um, so I'm going to use towels for this one here, um, but if you do have the flexibility in your hips, um, you won't need to necessarily use the towels, but you can use them as support underneath your bottom. So this stretch here is going to really open up um, through the hips and the shoulders. So I'm going to take a seat onto the uh, onto the towels there. My spine is nice and straight. First, we're going to start with our right side. So we bend both legs up slightly. Then we're going to take that right leg. And we're going to grab onto the ankle and slowly just place the ankle right next to your hip there on your left side and your soles are facing out. We're going to then take the other, our left side, grabbing that ankle and we're going to gently just adjust ourselves so we've got those hips nice and in line and our knees are going to be sitting on top of each other there. Now we're sitting up nice and tall from there. Um, so level at the side there just to make sure you might need a little adjustment there. That's why the tower really helps you to get up higher and get you some leverage into that position. We're going to take our towel from here. And with the uh, left hand, first of all, we're going to come with that left hand from behind. We're going to walk it up the back of our, um, through our back with the palm facing the opposite direction. We're going to take our right hand, inhale, come up nice and tall. We're going to put that tricep strong against our head there. As we gently grab onto the towel with both fingers, we can slowly just pull that arm up nice and straight. And you're going to feel this really opening up through your hips and through the shoulders. Let's take a nice deep inhale. And with an exhale, we're going to make the sound of a cow. Mm, I'm just kidding, we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, we're going to hold it here for five breaths. shoulders and through the hips and last exhale we slowly unravel the arms we gently let them come down three with the legs from there we again unravel the hips 
coming out to a nice straight with the legs there. Take a deep inhale, stretch up nice and tall. Exhale, as we breathe out, we stretch all the way through the lower back. And release, return to that seated position. Let's swap over that side now. So again, we're gonna bend those knees slightly there. I'm gonna then this time take the left leg first. It's gonna come underneath, placing that left heel, uh, left ankle right next to your right hip there. We take the right uh, ankle again. We're gonna slowly adjust that. So our knees are sitting on top of each other. Little smooth adjustments. I have really tight hips, so I find this one really tough for me. Again, we take our little towel here. The left hand comes to the front, and then so with our right hand, sorry, come with that right hand, we're gonna walk it up. Keep that shoulder, that body nice and tall. We're gonna place that left elbow nice and straight by the side of our head as we keep our head tall and our gaze to the front. We gently stretch through the fingertips to each other as we continue to breathe for five breaths. Last breath. And exhale, we slowly unravel the hands, gently return back to that center. I'm gonna come those legs out nice and straight. One more forward fold, inhale. And exhale. And release. Okay team, so today we're gonna to finish off with some meditation. Um, feel free to do this in an easy pose or laying on your back in the corpse pose. Um, whatever's comfortable for you for your meditation practice. So today I'm going to um, do a simple mantra. I'm going to add, this is going to help um, basically transcend our mind and allow us to get into our meditation for it. So from here, what we're going to do is keep your spine nice and straight. We're going to bring our thumbs um, towards our heart. Let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose. As you breathe in, feeling your chest, feeling your belly full of oxygen. And then we're going to exhale. And let it all out. Continue with a second breath. Okay, so today to finish off the class, I want to end uh, today's practice with a quote. Um, I did a class with my good friend Sarah in Guatemala, uh, she's a yoga teacher there. Um, so the quote is, Courage is showing up and letting yourself be seen. Courage is showing up and letting yourself be seen. We're going to finish with one last breath as we breathe in. Fill the belly nice and deep. Fill the lungs. And as we exhale, we're going to bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys. I really hope um, you've had a chance to do some of these practices, these, these poses I've showed you today. Um, let me know how they're going. Um, but I'm super excited. Can't wait. See you guys back in the gym. Um, namaste. Have a beautiful day.